It's Gian alum at Commit to Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news of crypto launch technology. Today, I have a real quick update for the Cardano community. Here's your article. This is from the Cardano Spot newsletter. Not sponsored in any way, but I highly recommend this platform. You can get your latest news on Cardano and connect with other people in the community too. Cardano Spot wrote, Hi, there's a major trend that is forming in Cardano. Liquidity is shifting from NFTs to DeFi. Today we discuss what's driving Cardano DeFi to hit all-time highs and how CNFTs can make a comeback. Let's dive into what this chart means first. We can see here that Cardano DeFi, decentralized finance, is at an all-time high. TVL, total value locked, is 340.29 million ADA. You might be wondering why we're seeing this trend. Some of the driving factors include stable coins on Cardano, like JAD and Indigo, and we also have some major lending protocols like AADA and Liquid. Those protocols contribute over one third of total value locked on Cardano. So they're major players in the game. And we've also seen a rise of DEXs, decentralized exchanges on Cardano that are also contributing to that. For DEXs, the big winners right now are Wing Riders and MinSwap. They've been seeing all-time highs in volumes and fees. Cardano NFTs, CNFTs, are actually pretty illiquid at the moment. They account for less than 500,000 ADA in daily volume. In order to bring liquidity back to CNFTs, there's been a shift to bring more people into the ecosystem and for getting more people into CNFTs. So one of the major projects right now is CODAs, that's Citizens of the Ape Society. They're launching a passport that allows you to link NFTs from other ecosystems into Cardano. I hope this information was helpful for you. Feel free to comment any questions below. That's the rest today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Feel free to share the brand to video this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.